Yay! Good morning. Yep, we are going to do a quick live and also a pre recorded video on selling with Amazon or selling on Amazon with your lobster. So, anyway, yeah, I'm not from uh, New England or anything like that. I just love, I love the accent. I love real quick. Yeah, real quick. What's up, Tommy? So, Yesterday, we were on with a couple people, and uh, they had mentioned that they're not on Amazon, and it was because they're not ready for it, or they're not prepared for it, uh, however you want to go, go about doing it. Justin, what's up, dude? I started watching your um, your video, your Dirty Harry video, and then I saw the Ghetto Blaster one, so I'm trying to get the Amazon orders out of here, because I got to take a shower, I got to get out the door. I wanted to do this real quick. So if you're not selling on Amazon, and this is just in reference to some of the folks that were on Triple D's uh, channel last night. There was Robin and, and Kevin, and um, there was another gentleman. I don't remember his name, and I do apologize. Um, but uh, the conversation came up about selling on Amazon and how people are kind of afraid of doing it and not being able to uh, have the confidence in jumping in and, and it's too much or whatever. And it wasn't just last night. It's been an ongoing kind of like topic that hasn't really been like planned out or laid out to the point where just do it. Honestly, just do it. I mean, I, I can't say anything bad about it other than the fact that it's not a joking uh, platform to be screwing around on for sure. There's a lot of competition on there. But from the positive things that I want to share with you, that there's going to be negative things, and we're not going to get into that because that comes and goes as 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 anything in life. What's up, Sonny? So real quick, guys, um, books, books for Amazon has got to be the easiest damn thing to sell on that platform. And I'm not talking about every single book in the world. I'm talking about Finding a niche, finding something that will sell, uh, that will definitely be profitable. Uh, for instance, I just sold this this morning. It's going out with my orders. It's um, a Spanish book, and uh, it, it talks about someone's life. You know, I don't know. I don't care. I just know that it's made some money. So we sold it for. Uh, Ten dollars, nine dollars and fifty six cents to be exact, and I had put it on there. Uh, let's see, used good, used good. Now this is probably better than good, um, only because it does have some issues in the corners, and it does have some concerning uh, flaws there. So I rated it good. I didn't do very good. I didn't lie about it. So that way the customer hopefully will be so uh, disappointed when they receive it. So number one thing, books, 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 sell, sell, sell. And uh, if you're going to get into Amazon, <clears throat> that is the best way for you to get your foot in the door. And I would suggest now that it's February, um, Sonny, I'll be more than happy to help you over Instagram, over the phone. We can, we can FaceTime. Dude, it's so easy you have no idea how easy it is it's just it, it's disturbing because there's there's such a large mass of it of, of people on there and and products so um getting on the uh, getting on the book wagon is a good way to start at least now now here's here's my here's my method do it now because come fourth quarter guess what things are going to be a little bit more open for you. Now, what I've learned from last quarter, here I was thinking all the toys that I have. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you, you'll sell, you'll be able to sell what you're already selling if you're able to do it. And then you, there's still another corner or two that I have to turn in order to sell certain things. And I still need to get invoices and I still need to follow some of the rules and regulations that they have. And, um, and books, is yeah, like like Justin says, uh, it's it's amazing to me how many books sell on Amazon. And the other thing too that's at least it was easy for me to get into was food. I found a niche in food. Uh, I I got a couple little niches. I do RA. Uh, I don't saturate it with a bunch of inventory. I just get a couple on there 
I bring them home, I put them in a box, I wait for it to sell. So I sell candy, I sell coffee products, I sell canned goods, I sell things that people would not think to sell. And that's what sells. Everyday items, um, there's going to be a lot of branding items that you're not going to be able to sell because one, the manufacturer is working directly with Amazon. Uh, two, the manufacturer or the distributor don't want you screwing around with the products that they're making money on. Because then if you come in as a third party, you're going to undercut them. You're going to take away their profits. And, you know, they're going to end up closing their doors because, you know, you got a third party seller working out of his garage selling, you know, the same like items, which is not possible. Um, however, they, they see it as such as like, okay, there's a couple of ways that they see it as, is like, okay, we did all the R and D, we did all the investment, we did all the, you know, preparation and ma manufactured this. And then all of a sudden you got some schmuck going to the store, buying the products and taking it home and jacking it up. And in that case, it does happen that way. And what the other reason is too, is Amazon don't want people on there. And they've done this in the past, um, where you will be selling like items. Um, the, the mafia, the black cat mafia, the Chinese people, uh, whatever you want to call them, they do a lot of reproduction stuff and it's fake. We all know about that. So that's one of the reasons why Amazon doesn't allow us. I got to move this wall. Go patrol, move this wall. Uh, that's one of the things that the reason why Amazon has their regulations and uh, getting that sorted out like that, so that it eliminates the amount of counterfeiting. Uh, we got to do this better. So I highly recommend selling on Amazon. Uh, it just with you know, Justin, uh, I think you sell on Amazon, don't you? It does take time. If you do, if you do the, uh, do tissue or medicine. If you do um, create a product, it does take time, and it can be very, very, very expensive. I myself, I don't, I don't want to go to China, especially now. Everyone's doing it. And spend a bunch of money having product fail. I'm not looking into that. I don't want that to happen. See, typically, I wrap this in tissue paper. We don't have time today. We're going to put this in an envelope. Put the packing slip. And we'll let the waste a perfectly good envelope. But we're going to put this in a, in a poly bag. And uh, so I do a lot of RA stuff. I highly recommend the, the books. Books are very, very easy and they're cheap. Very cheap. I know in some parts of the country, they were saying yesterday that you can get books for like 10 cents a book. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Um, but books are one of the things that really got me going. Um, I don't sell as many anymore. I've moved over to food. But it's got to be something that you're comfortable in doing. And uh, I know there's a lot of resellers out there that will sell items um, that are, for me, like I won't sell glass. Um, but I will. I, I, I choose not to because of the fact that it may break and then I have to do a refund. Uh, let's see. Good morning, thrifting three sixty five. Thank you for coming in. It is very time consuming, Justin, to do books. Yeah, I've actually just uh, ventured off and uh, sold some shoes. Um, I sold a pair of uh, some hookahs recently on Amazon. So I got ungated in that. And that's the thing, Sonny, if you're listening, uh, when selling on Amazon, you're going to notice that right from the start, you're going to be gated on just about everything because they're just not going to open the door to a new seller. And they made it harder to get in. And when I say harder, they, they want to know your 
reason on why you want to sell, they want to see credentials as far as utilities, your address and where you live. So they want to make sure that you are who you say you are before you jump in there. And they're going to take your money too. If you do the pro account, it's like $39.99 a month. You could do the individual free account, but they charge you 99 cents per item. And what I would suggest you do if you're really worried about it from a financial. Hey, Tracy, welcome. We're just doing a quick little live before we jump to the next thing. We're doing some shipping. I uh, got to take a shower. <laughs> got to go. Uh, we got to go to work today. This is the hell week for me. And it's going to be all the way until probably uh, week before Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm excited about it. We started kind of last week uh, with the work, but um, it was slow. We didn't have too many too many students, but today today we're going to be full fledged. It's just, it's the last week of registration for the semester. So a couple of things I was talking about was trying to get jumping on Amazon and how easy it really is. Um, we all talk about eBay. We all talk about Macari and Grail and Poshmark. And I'm telling you right now, the volume that is going to Amazon, like Tommy has mentioned in his channel, 46% of e-commerce is made up by eBay. 30, um, 30, 70 some percent of Amazon's business is made up of third party sellers. So people like myself and you who sell books, food, shoes, used electronics. I'm not kidding you. The, the amount of money that you can make on Amazon for certain things compared to all those other platforms, you would be amazed at what you get for an item. A, a can good, one can good, a 20 ounce, 20, I think it's 28 ounce can of enchilada sauce that I get for a dollar something and change. I sell for like 15 bucks shipped. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I'll do that all day long. <laughs> right around Christmas time, everybody's making their enchiladas. And guess what? Lots is making money on canned goods. Uh, we get the canned goods of the jalapenos, the canned jalapenos. Uh, I send that out to people that you look at the address and go, where the hell is that at? Exactly. That's why you do it. Uh, hot sauce, barbecue sauce. Uh, what else? Candy. Tons of candy. Tons of candy. Especially right now during Valentine's Day. I don't think there's a month that goes by where I don't sell candy. I sell lollipops. I sell gummies. I sell, you name it, I'm selling it. Uh, and it's called, it's all coming from the clearance. It's all coming from the Dollar Tree, but it's name brand stuff. It's not none of that crappy crap crap that they have on the shelf. I don't even know if that's even a thing, the crappy crap crap. We just made that up. That sounds like a shirt, crappy crap crap. Um, uh, no selling of the crappy crap crap. So you got to find products like the Dollar Tree will get. You can order it online from the Dollar Tree and have it sent to the store, and then you can just go and pick it up. Um, so you can keep replenishing it over and over. And that's the key to selling on Amazon is to find a product that you can scan just like you would any other time to put it on eBay. But it's replenishable. And I, I would just do it in moderation. I wouldn't go and spend uh, like I did. I spent uh, $50 on a, on a package of candy. And uh, by the time I got it listed, it, it's it got oversaturated with people. Um, I, I, I can't quite understand. I mean, it's probably got like eight sellers on it. But it's eight too many. And uh, I still have the product. Now, it does have a good shelf life on it. So I'm not too worried about it. And in order for me to make any money, I'm sitting on the price. And a lot of times, as things get closer to its expiration date, like right now I'm selling the uh, the caramel candies. You know, I'll show you. So I have this right here. I got it on gated on this brand right here. And I'm selling two of them. Oh, I'm selling two of them for $7.99. I'm not making any money on this. I'm losing money on this. But the thing is, the best buy date is May 1st. I have to get rid of it. I don't want to throw it away. I would rather sell it and in hopes that uh, I'll get a I'll get a, a feedback on it. So I've got probably I think eight 16 bags left, so eight more orders. Um, if it doesn't uh, sell probably within the next 30 days, that'll give me see so what is this February? So by the end of March, April, May. So, yeah, probably in the next couple of weeks, by the end of February, if I don't sell them all, I'm pulling them. And this is the joy of selling as a seller, Merchant Fulfill, 
I can pull it and I didn't pay storage fees. Now I do have to incorporate the shipping price in the price of selling this, but because this is, this was at one time, uh, $16 a bag. And I got these for 50 cents at the bargain market. They were on clearance, but this was back in uh, the beginning of December. So we sold a couple, we made our money back on the first transaction, but the, um, the doubling up now is just to get rid of it and to draw people in. And that's the key. What do you think Costco does when they have the food court with the gosh darn $1.50 hot dogs and the soda pop for you know that price? And then they got the chickens way in the back for $4.99. They draw you into the door and then they suck you through like a tube, like a wormhole to go get that $4.99 chicken. And on the way, you're shopping and you're spending money. And that's that's kind of like the concept of selling stuff like this that's still edible, that's still within reason in the time of the shelf life. People are getting a deal. You're giving them a deal, literally. You're not making money. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. How many units did I sell? Well, if I sold a bunch of those and I didn't make any money, I'm selling this. I'm selling this. You know, and I'm selling the next item, the next item, the next item. At the end of the day, I'm making a profit. That's how Amazon operates. They, they sell so much crap that they get fees for everything. They get, uh, they get commissions on all this other stuff that they do in addition to just reselling. And they, at the end of the day, they look at that number and they go, hey, we made a profit. And they made a big profit. So that's how I look at it. I look at how much did I spend per item? Just like on the, on the, the box of makeup that I bought, uh, 90 items for 90 bucks shipped. So I paid less than a dollar. I put $137 on seven items last night online while on chat. And I still have half of the supply left because the wife went through it all. So, hey, comes to dad, what's going on? Great live last night, by the way. I was just talking about that, about the Amazon thing. I was just trying to uh, pump up the, the community for those that don't sell on or are afraid. I highly encourage it. I really do. And, and, and Scott can actually vouch for it. Scott's a good Amazon seller. Um, he, he's been doing it for a couple of years now. Gary, good morning. Getting ready to go to work. Yeah. Amazon, I'm telling you guys, I mean, we all, we all talk about eBay. And like I said last night in the chat, I've been on eBay since 2007. And I've made steady little chunks of change on the way. I just did uh, my numbers uh, for last year so I can kind of figure out where I'm at. Uh, I didn't make enough on eBay last year to, um, nor did I have enough orders to get a tax statement. But on Amazon, they're coming for me. Yeah, they're coming for me. So just not that I'm boasting. I'm not going to tell you the numbers, but I'm going to tell you. In the amount of time that I've been on eBay since 2007, so we're going to say 13 years now on, on, on eBay, just as a part-time kind of hobbyist kind of a deal, pick and roll, flip and drop, um, or drop and flip, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've made more money. I, I listen to this. I've made more money in 2019 on Amazon. Okay. I started January 21st of 2019. So less than less than a year. So 11 months and some days that I made on eBay in 13 years. Okay. And I'm selling Amazon as a part-time seller. I have the pro account. So they take the $39.99 out of me. Okay. I don't care. It pays for itself. That's the idea, right? But I have one, uh, one and a half shelves, literally, for Amazon. eBay, I have this. I have, I have a shelf there for eBay. I have an electronic shelf, okay? But Amazon, it's just these little whiskey boxes that I have um, that hold whiskey bottles that have the little handles. They're made of cardboard. You can see them back there, these little boxes here. They fit perfectly on the gray shelves. This gray shelf, that's right. There, I don't know, you can't see it right there. The boxes fit perfectly in the shelf. And in the box, I just put the product. So I have milk crates on the bottom with canned goods. I have three boxes across, and they're full of candy. They're full of uh, coffee products. They're full of, I got sugars. I've got, uh, got little odds and ends and things like that that I can sell that isn't going to get so much attention 
if you're if you're selling something now that's one of the things you have to be careful with and i gotta go the products that you scan the products that you put online pay attention to what you're putting online look at your competitors pay attention to what they're selling pay attention to their name go into their store see what other items they're selling if they're selling if you're selling this item okay you scan and you bring this item to market you're looking and you scan it and you see your competitors and there's another competitor on there and uh, let's call this the tapes this tape dispenser one two, three deluxe okay you go to that competitor and his name is tape dispenser one two three deluxe.com or ltd or lc or llc that's probably a good indication that that cat made this thing he's distributing and he's got to deal with amazon for some odd reason i would highly recommend not doing that or you're going down with the ship um but look at look at your competitors find out who's who's selling this and other things and like you if they're selling candy and tape dispenser deluxes you got a good chance you could probably compete with that so that's one of the things that you really need to do before you just start scanning and throwing crap online. Um, but easily enough to say, honestly, I'm willing to bet you anything. Take a book. Be careful, though, when you grade it. And also pay attention to college books with the publishers. They're out looking for people uh, who say that books are new. I technically don't display or suggest in my in my business plan and selling Amazon I don't put a book out there saying it's brand new. I don't sell a brand new book. I just keep it simple. I'm selling you a used book. Okay? It looks new. It feels new. It smells new. It drives new. Whatever the case may be, it's still a used book regardless because you got to also pay attention to there's markings on the uh, bottoms of these books that have like a red or a black marker um, that indicates that it's a uh, cutoff. Pretty much it was a done deal and the Dollar Tree picks these up for pennies to the dollar first stores get them, you know, you can't sell that as a new item. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll open up a book and you'll be like, oh, wow, this is really, you know, this is really crisp and it looks nice. I can tell it's new and it's selling for like 80 bucks and da, da, da. Be careful. Be very careful. Tread lightly. And you still make a lot of money regardless. Because you can put a book like that and put the remainder mark in there. And the comments say book has remainder mark. It's uh, like new, shows well, doesn't show any scuffing, you know, be descriptive. Tell exactly. Take a picture of it. Take like Triple D said the other night. If you take a picture of the book and the customer sees it and you put it down as used like new and they look at it and they're like, wow, it's half the price of what a new one is. Yeah. And another tip that I want to give you too. If and when you do decide to sell a product and you're scanning, you're doing RA on Amazon. And I already mentioned, you got to be very careful with this. Um, choose wisely. But a good indication to not put an item online with Amazon is if Amazon is selling the product. Now keep keep this also in mind. Amazon is tracking everything that goes on, either with you, me, everyone else. They're trying to find out the best product too. They want to know what sells and what don't sell. Now, Amazon doesn't sell things that doesn't make them any money, but they sell things that do make money. Now I remember last summer I was selling a product that I was selling it so fast I had to go to like all the stores in my area. And I was selling them literally before I could get them to the house because I was immediately increasing the inventory as I was purchasing it. And all of a sudden, within a month later, Amazon was selling it, paint the price, and now I don't sell it anymore. And I'm kind of glad. I made a ton of money on that, a ton of money. But anyway, uh, I got to get moving myself. I want to thank Tracy. I want to thank Kevin for coming in, uh, Justin, and who else came in here? Guys, I want you guys to have a great day. Treasure Hustlers, welcome. Thank you for coming. Drifting Lounge, had a good conversation with him last night. Justin, dude, I'm going to check out your video here shortly, probably on the way in. I'm going to take the bus into work. Scott, have a great day, bro. Hello, uh, K-A-Y-A-E-V. K -A -Y -A -E -V -A. Oh, I'm hashing that one up. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Gary, take care. Drifting365, thank you. Tracy, Tracy, Justin, Justin, Andy. Oh, man, I missed you, bro. Take care, Andy. Uh, every time I think of Andy, I think of uh, Alabama for some reason. <laughs> I do. I, I ain't me home. No, I ain't. That's, that's uh, John Denver. Never mind. 18-wheeler. Keep on rolling. That's not how the song goes. Yeah, you get the point. Uh, let's see. What else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? What? All right. We got to go, guys. It's shower time. Sunny. Hit me up, dude. I, I, I'll give you as much information, information, information as I can. 
uh, to help you with that Amazon journey, dude. And I honestly guarantee you, if you do it right, you will do well with yourself. And uh, it's just another opportunity to hustle some other things that you would not normally sell. All right. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Scott. I am leaving. It is 720, dude. And I kind of meet my daughter at school. So that's got a priority, right? Family first. And within the family, kids are number one. So you guys have a safe day. It was just a quick little motivational kind of get up and get going. Get your listings done. Get the day over. I, I can't wait for the weekend to end already. Yeah. If it wasn't for coffee. You know, I want to do, I want to make my own coffee. I mean, I want to make it to consume it, but I want to, I want to have my own brand and coffee. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't, I don't approve of some of the ways that they get the beans. I watched um documentary and we're closing on this. I swear to God, I'm going to make this short, but I watched a documentary on uh, the South, a uh, South African uh, farmers who harvest the beans for coffee. And those poor guys, they don't make, hardly anything for what they do and they work really hard hey rosalie i rosalie rosalie i have to go you guys i just wanted to come in and uh just tell you real quickly about amazon if you're not doing it you should try it at least look into it and there's options and if anyone has any questions on anything let me know some of my videos kind of document some of the things that's happened um you know it, it was just a kind of a kind of a learning curve but I've got a lot of a lot of information, and there's a lot of resellers online that follow our little community um, that will be straight and narrow with you too. I know Nate sells. Um, I know. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, who else did I over here? I know Nate is one, and Brandon is another one. Brandon does FBA, and I think Nate does too. But I only do seller fulfilled, so I do exactly what you do on eBay, but with Amazon, and it's not hard. And I have Prime, and I sell. That's that's a whole nother topic. That's an ass kicker there. If you don't mind me saying that so early in the morning, I think I can say the word ass, right? Because if not, I just said ass. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you guys later. I gotta go. Take care. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you soon.